What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. Today's video, we're going to have a brief, uh, it's not really a tackle tip Tuesday, but we're going to kind of go over uh, some filming equipment that I use uh, out on the water when I'm filming my YouTube videos. I had a lot of questions about it. So we're going to dive into that today. Let's roll that intro and we'll get into it. <laughs> Alright everybody, so um, I had a lot of people ask what all I'm filming with. A lot of the questions that I get is what cameras do you use and you know what, what other uh, electronic equipment are you using to film out on the water. So, and really the number one question that I got, the whole reason why I sparked a lot of this is a lot of people want to know about that drone shot that I did. So we're going to go over that today. So we're going to start off right off the bat with my GoPro setup. Uh, this is the GoPro Hero 8. This is what I use almost exclusively on my chest. Actually, the only thing I use on my chest, I use it almost exclusively filming. Um, I do run two of these. Uh, this is a, uh, it's a case that I found on Amazon that's supposed to deflect the heat off of it and really help with the heat overheating issues that I had during uh, during the summer. It worked a little bit, you know, it, it didn't really you know work 100%, but it did help a little bit, so it allowed us to film a little bit more. Uh, so that's the GoPro number one that I run. The second GoPro that I run is actually on the other piece of equipment we're gonna talk about. This is the second GoPro that I run. This is the Hero 8. Yes, I do have some funky contraption up here. I don't want to hear it out of anybody. It keeps the GoPro shaded. It allowed me to really make it through the summer this year into the early parts of fall uh, without camera overheating. And that's what allowed me to bring you all as much content as I was able to, because you know, there for a while, we weren't able to film on the water for like three months because every time I was filming a video, everything was going dead from the heat. So uh, my dad and I put this together and uh, it works perfectly for me. Yes, it's kind of bulky. It doesn't look pretty, but by gosh, it works. So the next piece of equipment that is super, super important is my power stick by Yolo Tech. Uh, this plugs into my power port in the back where my anchor light plugs in and it keeps my GoPro fully running all day long. Uh, there's the, the power stick ports here. You're actually able to plug in uh, two USB ports here. There's the second one. Here's the first one that's already plugged in. So you could, in theory, run uh, two GoPros back there for a 3D effect if that's something that you're into. I'm not, but I do have the ability to do that if I want. Uh, the Yolo Tech itself does extend. Uh, I think it goes all the way out to 52 inches, 53 inches on an inch off. And it's got the head, swiveling head up here that you can tighten down. You can move it all the way around, get the perfect shot every time for everything that you want or need while filming on the water. So the next piece of equipment that I use, and <laughs> please keep in mind, I'm a professional photographer. That is the only reason why I have this camera. If, if I were just doing YouTube videos, there's no excuse to have this camera, but I'm gonna be completely transparent everybody. I wanted everybody to see the exact equipment that I run. This is the Canon R5. Uh, for any of you uh, camera junkies out there, you know what this is. Uh, this is Canon's uh, big boy right now, mirrorless. Um, I absolutely love this camera. Um, the reason why I like running it so much is one, it gives me just a, a, an unbelievably crisp, picture and I really love it but it's also got the reversible screen over here that I'm actually able to watch myself while I'm filming so the Canon R5 is nine times out of ten what I'm using when I'm talking to the camera when I'm not on the water normally this video would be shot on that uh, but I wanted to have it out plus it's dead because I've had photo shoots all weekend but anyway so besides that uh, the next camera that I'm going to talk about, I didn't really think was going to be as important as it was to me. 
and I use it so, so very much. And they really stepped their game up when, when this came out, and it's actually the iPhone 12 Pro Max. That's what I'm filming on right now. The camera is just, it's ridiculously good. Uh, I'm still able to film in 4K. Um, that's what I'm filming in right now is 4K, 60 frames per second. Um, the only difference is with, with my phone, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I can't do those super crisp slow motions like I can with my GoPro. My GoPro, I can film up to, I think 120 frames per second. I, I'm not exactly sure what I can go up to. I know if I drop it to 1080, I can go up to 200 and 240 frames per second, I believe. So that's, you know, the two differences there. But anytime I'm on the water and you see me talking into the camera, that's all my iPhone besides when talking into the YOLO tech. So when you see me walk to the back of the boat uh, and I'm talking, that's into the YOLO tech. But like if I'm in the driver's seat and I'm talking to you, doing this number, walking around, uh, like when I do my intros and stuff, that's all on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. And it's very simple to use. I plug in the cord into my uh, iMac and then I upload everything directly into Adobe Premiere and that's, I edit straight off of that. Next thing up, these are the SD cards that I run. These are micro SD cards. Can I get that to focus? I don't know if it'll focus or not. This is a 400 gigabyte uh, SanDisk Extreme. Uh, this was specifically designed for 4K filming. 400 gigabytes gets me almost 14 hours worth of film on the water. And I know a lot of people are like, that's a lot of overkill. That's a lot of going through footage and everything. It is, but I'm not one to, I don't do the whole five minute loop anymore i used to do it and I, I had a really bad i was missing fish because you know i would essentially the way a five minute loop works is you, you're fishing and it records the last five minutes so i fish fishing 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 boom catch a fish reel it in woohoo looky 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 throw it back and in theory you're supposed to hit rec the record button again to stop it and then it records the last five minutes and it puts it into your data bin well i was forgetting to push the button again so it was just filming over everything because I just forgot about it. So that's kind of why I got away from that. Yes, that is between two cameras, 800 gigabytes of footage that I have to go through, but not everything is imported into my computer, so it doesn't really matter. I know what everybody's saying is that, where's the drone, where's the drone, where's the drone? The drone's coming last. We're gonna go over everything first because I don't use the drone a whole lot. I, I use the drone in one video, just kind of, testing the waters to see if it was even something that I liked, if I wanted to put it in there, if it was gonna work, if it was gonna look good or not. Um, based on the video, you know, it's got over 3,700 views. So I, I guess y'all liked it, I don't really know. Nobody really commented, it was like, I like that drone footage. But uh, I, I did have some people on Instagram asking me about the drone footage. So uh, that's why we're doing the video. The last thing that I wanna go over is the battery pack that my camera's currently sitting on. <laughs> this, this is a battery brick. Um, and that's not actually what it's called, but that is what I call it. Uh, the battery brick itself is capable of keeping my GoPros charged. I guess Holly's printing something. Uh, it keeps my GoPros charged for like 14 hours off of this. Um, yes, it's heavy, it's large, it's cumbersome, but it keeps it fully charged. It sits in my pocket and I've got a long cable that's able to run over there. And it, just, it keeps everything charged quite nicely for me. And I can't complain with that. So the last item up that everybody is excited for, and that is the drone. All right, so this is the drone I use. This is the DJI Mini Mavic 2. It is, uh, or is it just the Mini 2? I don't remember if it's the Mini Mavic or I can't remember exactly what it's called. But this is the drone that I use. It is small enough that it can actually fit in my pocket. Uh, that was kind of one of the reasons why I liked it so much. Uh, but also when it came to landing the drone on my boat, a moving object, um, it was a lot easier to do with a smaller drone. So the only downfall that I really have to this drone, a lot of you know, I, I switched from a uh, GoPro Karma to the DJI Mini 2. The GoPro Karma, I loved it. The only problem, it was very, very, very large. Um, it was faster than my DJI Mini 2, but it ate through batteries like crazy and GoPro stopped supporting it. Therefore, I wasn't getting able to get any updates anymore or anything like that. And I was really having some issues with that. So the DJI Mini 2 is what I use exclusively now. Um, it came with what's called the Fly More Pack. 
So it's got three batteries that came with it with a speed charger that keeps them charged. So by the time I've used the third battery, the first battery is charged again. So it, it's, never, it's a never ending cycle. Uh, I can continue, as long as I have a power source to charge the batteries, I can run this all day. Normal flight time out of it, um, safely, I can get 20 minutes. So I can take off, put it in position, and I've got about 20 minutes of filming with this as long as it's not moving around a whole heck of a lot. You know, if you put it into like sport mode and all that jazz, it slows down a little bit, but I run it in cinema mode. And that is, that's the drone. You know, that that's, that's what works the best for me. Um, it, it just all around is, is a phenomenal drone. It's got the collision sensors in it, uh, the bottom only. It doesn't have like front and back, I don't think. Uh, the only reason I know it's got bottoms is I'm actually looking at them right there. But it, it, you know, if you try to land it and you don't tell it it's going to landing mode, it won't let you come down and it works on the water too. So I can actually get really low to the water and it won't let me fall into the water. So that's a phenomenal thing there. Uh, you know, it came in this nice little case and everything. Um, Here's the controller for it. And then this is the um, Fly More battery pack. It charges them. Um, the only complaint, the, like the biggest complaint that I had with this, and it's because I went from the GoPro Karma to the DJI, the GoPro Karma came with a screened monitor. When I went to the DJI, I have to use my cell phone. Wasn't really something I was a fan of at first. Um, I don't mind it so much now, but I still would much prefer to have the uh, the, the built-in screens that just made life a lot easier for me. Anyway, guys, those are my camera setups for filming on the water, filming filming everything on my YouTube channel. This is everything that I do here. Um, you know, my editing software, um, I use Adobe Premiere Pro as my editor. Uh, I run Apple iMac computers, 27-inch uh, monitors. I run two of those. Um, I always have my uh, Apple AirPods. Uh, they allow me to be able to hear things a little bit better. And if, you know, Holly's sleeping or something, I'm able to have those still running. What else, what else, what else, what else? I think that's everything. I think that's all my editing stuff. If I missed anything, by all means, I'll link it down there anyway. Uh, but if you guys want to pick up any of this stuff and try your hand at the YouTube vi uh, filming and whatnot, uh, I encourage you to go down there, check out my Amazon links and, uh, you know, help out the, ch the page by uh, purchasing something through there. And all those proceeds goes back into the channel to be able to uh, keep doing what we do so anyway guys if y'all like these videos give me a huge favor hit that like button hit that subscribe button leave me a comment down in the comment section below let me know where you're watching from uh let me know if you guys are filming your own youtube videos uh, send a link down there i'd love to see them uh if you guys are over on instagram there's a giveaway going on right now with big fish giveaways i am a part of it so go over there check that out and you might be able to win you a nice shimano uh I don't even remember what it is. It's like a really expensive reel and I, I can't think of what it is off the top of my head. But anyway, guys, like, subscribe, comment, notifications on. Take care, everybody.